Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the EQ insert. It's the last insert of our layer here. It's a great way to add low end, some high end, and some other fun stuff. So we have, uh, let's go reset here. And we will have a square and a saw. We'll sync them. I got big fingers. Um, so now what we can do is we'll set it to mono, four voices. And what we can do is turn on the EQ, and it's in effects three. And we can add a low shelf. And what I like to do is I like to cut around here. Just the cue there. Smooth out that. And we can boost the highs. Right, so that is uh, a way to kind of EQ things. That's how I would do it. Uh, we have we have a high pass of uh, variable curves: 12, 24, 36, 48. A low pass: 12, 24, 36, 48. And uh, kind of uh, low cutoff, low well, a low shelf, a high shelf, and two uh, surgically uh, cutting things that we can move around anywhere uh, with variable gain plus our negative and it is uh, 24 db per octave and with an adjustable cue so we can really get in there right so that'd be a little bit too intense right so that sounds kind of boring right so this is kind of the power of the eq it can really add in some interesting things i'll show you Right, adds uh, sinusoidal, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the EQ. Uh, yeah, let's make another sound. So what it can do for say something in the high end. Oh, I want to select that. We're running stereo. Right, so sometimes unison in the low end doesn't really work that well, and it kind of like muddies up the mix. That's just unison in general. So we can kind of high pass that with a kind of a shelf or a low shelf, I mean. And we'll do we'll do that. We'll move this guy here. I'll do that, and then we can boost the highs to taste. as an example. All right. So imagine what that sounds like with all of our other effects. Uh, we can make, think of it as just another filter. It's great and it works well and I hope you learn stuff and we'll be back.